everyone, this is Coco Sip here and I'm bringing you some Car Mechanic 2018. Um, it's been a while since I've actually uh, showed any content on this game. So I figured why not do it now. So I am at the very beginning. Uh, we are inside of the tutorial stage right now. I'm picking a car out of the two that I have in my garage. We're going to put uh, some oil inside of it so I can do a test drive of it. Um, once I complete the test drive, the tutorial will um, be complete and then it will actually load me into my actual personal garage. So right now, this is not our actual garage, but this is what our garage um, may look like once we continue to unlock it. And that right there is the phone. That's where we get our jobs from. Um, this is where we like re replace, not replace, but uh, repair um, other parts on that workbench. So I'm just giving you guys like a quick tour, really fast tour. Obviously when you first start the game, uh, you have a lot of pop-ups explaining what each piece of equipment is inside of your garage and you know, like how to use it and stuff like that. So I'm just doing a really um, fast tour. I'm not gonna take up too much time. Of course when you go inside of here, that's where you go in case you want to like change the paint of your car. That right there I believe is the dino area. Um, that's why there's those big fans there. And of course this is the office. Uh, we have our computer there. That's where you can buy parts for the vehicle. Uh, you also have a tablet but you have to unlock that tablet later on. So until then you will have to um, access your computer in order to purchase anything. Alright, so now we're going to make our way upstairs in this little loft. This is like the waiting area, um, you know, for customers when they drop off their car. Nice TV, got a PlayStation. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. So it's not much, it is a small area, but it's something, you know, while you wait for your car. Uh, the warehouse here. Some other miscellaneous um, items. And then, let's see... Okay, so we go, we click on that garage and, uh, or that door, garage door, and we're gonna choose the car that we just put oil in, inside of. But actually that map will show you other places that you can go to, but you just need DLC for it. But doing the test drive... everyone so that concludes our uh, test drive so to actually load you inside of your actual garage like I said you can tell it's a lot smaller we don't have other parts of the garage open yet because it's something that we will have to later upgrade as we play the actual game and we have to level ourselves up so but it's not bad you know it's something just to get us started for for the time being so we are going to um, find an actual mission but like I said, this is our map. Uh, you can go to other places if you purchase the DLC for the game. We're going to make our way over here to the phone. And we should have our first job there. And yes, we do. 
It's going to give us a nice little description there. And so basically we just have to do the oil and check the tires. But I'm sure there's other things as well uh, that we will have to check on the car. Alright, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to load the car onto our lift. I really do like this menu. You just right click and it brings up this, uh, this menu wheel. I actually like 2018 a lot better. I've played 2015. I don't know if you guys have it as well. Yeah, you guys have to let me know in the comments below if you guys did. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, I don't know why. I like the graphics are a lot better. I feel like I have more options. So we're gonna take off each tire. I'm trying to decide if it's... Obviously it looks like the rim, but I don't know if it's the tire as well or just the rim. So, we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, so that definitely looks low. And that definitely needs to be repaired. Yeah, we don't want to sell it yet until I actually replace it with the correct part. I guess we'll do that to all of them first before we actually go to buy new wheels for the vehicle. So that way we do it all at once, you know, instead of going back and forth for just one one wheel. Do it for all four. Alright, I just want to check and see if I had to replace that as well. So I'm going to try to take that part off. Now check my inventory. I just want to confirm like how deep I'm doing this wheel here. Is that is awfully rusty. And of course we have to take out the brake but caliber, all that stuff. And doesn't look like it needs to be repaired for anything. So we're actually going to put it back. There we go. Just want to make sure we put everything back the way we had it. This confuses the crap out of me. Is it this one? I think it's the... Maybe. First I said no, and I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But yeah, just go ahead and say okay. And say yes next time. Alright, so the good thing is we know that it's just definitely the uh, the whole entire rim and the wheel itself. We don't have to go beyond that, just take off the tires, so. Alright, got the third one, and then we'll do the fourth one.
These bolts make a completely different sound than on Simulator 15, but hey, I'm not complaining, I actually like the sound still. Sweet, so we have all four, and then we'll have to go to the shop, yeah, we'll go to our computer and order these parts. Oh, I had to write down the sizes of everything so I remembered so I didn't have to keep switching back and forth too much. You know, between screen screens, trying to get um, other stuff done, so... Yeah, so we want the standard tire B. Alright, so at least we know we have that. Alright, so basically we have to uh, install the actual tire onto the rim. And we have to balance the tire. That's what we're going to do with all four. This is great. This is like a complete true car mechanic simulator. Because before, you know, in 2015, you just, you know, popped the tires on the whole, the whole thing. You didn't have to do it individually. No, not as much detail um, as this game, you know, the 2018 version.
Okay, so now that we have our tires installed on the rim, we're going to go ahead and install everything onto the car. What I love about this is you just select it and it's ready to go. Just put the bolts back inside. Perfect. We'll have these on in no time. So far, we're doing good. Alright, so you guys know that this is the actual photo mode. You can take a picture of anything inside the game. So uh, I just did that to show you guys. I'll probably use that as my thumbnail for the video. Okay, you guys, so let's see what else we have left to do for the vehicle. Let's look at this car status. So we still have the air filter and the, f and the uh, fuel filter that we need to have replaced and I believe we have to still drain the oil. I'm pretty bad at doing the oil, I always mess it up. So we're gonna put it back on the actual lift. Right, right when you think you're done, you're not exactly done with the job yet. It's always good to check. Alright, so that's the the uh, fuel filter we just took off. And now we need to take off the air filter. And it's obviously going to be inside of this case. Got the cover for it. Alright, so we can tell that these two parts definitely need to be replaced. Especially that air filter is like... There's <sighs> absolutely like nothing on that. So we're going to go back to our computer. We're going to order that. You always want to make sure you guys have the right parts. Sometimes you can write them down or if you have a good memory, you can memorize them. You want to make sure you order the right one. 
um, for the vehicle that you're working on. It's very, very important. So a few times you might, you know, see me, um, you know, leave the actual computer, go back and look at the car list at my inventory and see what it's called. So you really have to pay close attention to that. All right, I think that's the air filter that we need right there, the square one. I believe that's the right one. But if you don't know, don't second guess yourself. You can always I like pause the game and go back here and look. Alright, so we have the new um, air filter. We just gotta get a new fuel filter. And I love the fact that you can still search for items. It's the only one, so and we also know it has that little logo. They like Shushori or something like that. I don't know if, that's, if I said that correctly. It's kind of hard to read. Like the actual text on it. Alright, so let's go. We're gonna install this and then we gotta take care of the oil and then we should be done, you guys. I don't know why I'm zooming on those, <laughs> but yeah, you gotta make sure all those clips are back in, you know, their appropriate spots. Alright, so next up is, like I said, we have to uh, change the oil. I kind of messed up on this one. You're supposed to drain it first. But, uh, so you want to click this for the oil pan or the oil, uh, whatever that is. It, it basically is your oil pan that catches the oil. But the good thing about this on 2018 is when you click it and tell it to go over here, you saw that it automatically, like, positioned itself. Yeah, I kind of see, I just got the oil pan, I shouldn't have got that yet. I should have gotten the uh, actual, like, oil filter, which I see it now. Before, I didn't really see it. it should have been the first one I've taken off. So, what happens is, when you don't properly drain it, and it doesn't reach the, the oil pan, you're responsible for cleaning it up, so it's $100. So, I'll take, I'll take that, don't worry. <laughs> So once you do that, then of course you want to put the oil filter back, which I like I said, sorry guys, I should have done that first. Next time I should be uh, prepared. And we just want to put everything else back, the oil pan. Then of course you can tell it to go back uh, to its spot which is very nice all right i think we actually have everything complete you guys we have the tires we uh i don't know if they said i don't know if they said to check the brakes or whatnot but we do have the tires we do have the oil change oh yeah okay yeah so i'm putting in oil right now so we have that done and 
Yeah, I think um, I think we have everything because we got the oil filter and the the air filter. All right, I want to actually check the dipstick, f uh, the oil stick here. Make sure it's full. A lot of times when you're pouring the oil um, inside of the the slot there. Um, okay, yeah. So we're actually maxed out. Okay, I want to see that. Yeah. So whenever you're um, pouring the oil at the bottom of it, you'll see it kind of start to build up. That's how you know that you're like full. That means stop completely because you have to gauge it. They don't really like show you an actual meter. So, all right, look at that. You guys, everything's green. We have it. So not bad at all. I actually enjoyed doing this mission right here or this uh, job, should I say. And then whenever you're ready for the next job, just access your phone just like you did before in 2015. But thanks again for watching, you guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. And if you like this episode, I will do some more. Have a great day, you guys. First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this.